In biology, we're able to describe systems in terms of negative and positive feedback mechanisms. Negative feedback loops can be seen as more of a maintenance or regulatory loop. On the other hand, I like to associate positive feedback with the statement, the more the merrier. So let's go and look at some examples. Negative feedback is related to the idea of homeostasis, and remember, homeostasis is when the biological system is able to maintain its conditions and processes according to whatever is going on outside. An example of negative feedback would be how your pancreas functions. For example, pancreatic hormones such as insulin and glucagon regulate the glucose levels in blood. When the concentration of glucose is too high, the pancreas secretes insulin to lower the blood glucose level. When the concentration is too low, the pancreas secretes glucagon instead to increase blood glucose levels. From this, we can see that negative feedback responds to changes in order to get back to a set point. When there's too much of one thing, the system does its best to decrease the amount of that item until the perfect conditions are reached. And of course, when there's not enough, the system will increase the amount of the item. Now on to positive feedback. Instead of going back to a set point like negative feedback, in a positive feedback loop, the system will continue its processes until something stops it. A very common example of positive feedback is when mothers produce oxytocin during childbirth. Oxytocin is actually a hormone that stimulates uterine contractions, helping the baby move. The mother's body produces more and more oxytocin, allowing the uterine to contract more and more until the baby is finally born. As you can see, this mechanism isn't one that tries to regulate the body at the same condition. Instead, it magnifies its own processes until it's carried out to completion or something stops it. So I hope this video clearly showed the difference between positive and negative feedback. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ask any questions that you might have in the comments.